94 FM The Fish afternoon host and Franklin Fire Department Citizens Academy alumnus Doug Griffin. My pleasure and honor to host for today's ceremony, beginning with Franklin Fire Department Chaplain, Lieutenant Paramedic James Gamble. Let's pray. Father, we come today grateful for the opportunity to assemble. We recognize that that word means something different today than it did a year ago, but we're grateful for this opportunity nonetheless. Lord, we come together today to remember. We remember the fallen who lost their lives 19 years ago today. We remember and honor the firefighters, police, EMS, and civilians that lost their lives. We pray that you will help us support their families who still suffer loss, who still suffer in grief. Help us remember and stand up for the survivors of 9-11 who still deal with the horrors of that event each and every day. Lord, we pray for our country. Many among us are struggling for justice and longing for peace. We pray that we can think back to a time just 19 years ago that we came together as a country, united that day as any other in our country, to help us live with more empathy for our fellow men and women. We pray for courage to stand up for what's right, resolute to stand against evil in a world of darkness. Help us be your light. We pray today that we honor all affected by the events of 9-11. In Jesus' name that we pray, amen. And now, Franklin Fire Department Acting Assistant Fire Chief Greg Baltimore to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Let's face the flag for the one nation under God. And now Franklin Fire Department Interim Fire Chief, Glenn Johnson. Good morning. 19 years ago today, on the morning of September 11, 2001, our nation came under attack. 19 terrorists hijacked four commercial airliners and crashed three of their airplanes into targets in New York City, Washington, D.C. The fourth plane crashed into a field in Pennsylvania after the brave passengers on board fought back against acts of terror. This attack on America remains the deadliest attack in U.S. On, in US history on U.S. soil. 2,977 people were killed. Among those are 2,763 2 civilians in and around the World Trade Center, 343 firefighters, 61 police officers, and eight e EMTs and paramedics. At the Pentagon, there were 189 personnel killed, including the 64 passengers on American Airlines Flight 77. This was the airliner that was intentionally crashed into the Pentagon. On Flight 93, 44 people died as the plane crashed into that Pennsylvania field. We gather today in honor to honor and remember those that were lost, especially those who died in the line of duty that day. Additionally, we honor and remember the more than 2,000 first responders who have died since 9-11 from 9-11 related illnesses as a result of this attack. This includes not only our firefighters, police officers, and EMS workers, but our steel workers, our iron workers, and others who work diligently during the response and recovery phase at the World Trade Center and the other sites. We also honor and remember the 7,000 U.S. military personnel, men and women, who have died following the 9-11 global war on terror. We honor those today, and we continue to honor those that serve. Today, we gather to remember, 
So as a nation, a country, a community, and a city, we don't forget. Thank you. Franklin City Administrator Eric Stuckey. We remember September 11th. As Chief Johnson just spoke, the nearly 3,000 who died directly as a result of the attacks and in the response to try to save others and how that ripples forward to today. We remember and perhaps now, more than ever, it's important for us to remember the lessons of that day, of that time. It was horrific. It was shocking. But our communities and our nation responded with compassion for one another, with a spirit of cooperation, with a sense that we would rise above and meet this challenge and come out of it better and stronger. This September 11th, we stand in the midst of a global pandemic. Just like that 9-11, what we're in the midst of now is changing the way we think, changing the way we respond. And it's up to us to do, take on those same challenges how we respond, how we serve, how we take care of one another matters now more than ever. And as we remember, let us also learn those lessons. You know, I've got a pen that I'm wearing right here that was given to me by the county manager of Arlington County, Virginia. He gave that to me uh, probably about a year or so after 9-11 uh, when I met him at a professional conference and was talking with him. And the point he made to me was that the response, we're the first responders at the Pentagon. The nerve center of the, and the first responders were local public safety from Arlington County. Roll that forward to today. The first responders in our communities here and across the country, the healthcare professionals, the work you all do and that our community team does is that same calling to serve, to rise above, to help our community work through something we've never seen before and come out stronger. So let us remember, but let us learn and let us apply those lessons in ways that serve one another and build a great and strong community and nation. Thank you. Franklin Fire Lieutenant Jeff Boggs. The lives of firefighters and all emergency responders are closely associated with the ringing of a bell. Throughout the day and night, alarm bells call us to fight fires, respond to emergencies, and to place our lives in jeopardy for the good of others. Before modern communication methods existed, when a firefighter was killed or fell in the line of duty, this would be tapped out as five measured dashes, then a pause, then five measured dashes, then a pause, then five more measured dashes. This came to be called the tolling of the bell. Today, we continue this fire service tradition as a sign of honor and respect for all the emergency responders who made that ultimate sacrifice in service to their community and our country on September 11th, 2001.
On September 11, 2001, our nation came under attack as a commercial airliner was flown into the North Tower of the World Trade Center in New York City. Minutes later, a second plane hit the South Tower. The attacks against our country continued as plane number three was deliberately crashed into the Pentagon and plane number four into a Pennsylvania field after heroic Americans overtook hijackers on board. Of the 2,977 victims killed 19 years ago today, 412 were emergency workers in New York City who responded to the World Trade Center. They included 343 firefighters, 61 police officers, and eight emergency medical technicians and paramedics. We honor and remember all those who were lost, especially those who died in the line of duty, with the promise that we will never forget. Ecom out, 750.